So this is my review of Green Book. This is probably going to be a quicker review than usual because I have a lot of things I have to get done today. Um, but I was putting this off long enough. I have to talk about Green Book. Uh, this is a movie that is one of the, certainly in the top five contenders of movies that can actually win Best Picture. Um, and I think my feelings on that are kind of mixed. It is a good movie. I think and it is a, a feel-good movie, and I think it, would, it wouldn't be the worst Best Picture winner, not by a long shot. But the challenge arises, the problem with, this, with envisioning this movie as a Best Picture winner is that when you go through the list of all Best Picture winners, as I did, um, and you go by year by year, it's kind of interesting to see how a film evolves. And this does not feel like a very evolved film. This feels like a movie that could have been made in the 90s easily. And in many respects, that's part of its charm, that it feels antiquated, it feels old-fashioned. Um, and it's nice to get a little uh, release from uh, the modern-day stresses. Uh, so I think a lot of Academy voters will vote for the film based on that alone. Um, it, it is a film... Like, of, there are a lot of movies this year about uh, racial prejudice. Uh, Black Klansmen, uh, If Beale Street Could Talk, uh, Widows. I, I don't know if Widows to a certain extent. They're, I think it's a little bit more lenient. But I, I think there's a lot of films with predominantly black leads, like Black Panther also, and, and films that are tackling social issues. And... Green Book is the only one of those films that I can think of off the top of my head that is directed by a white man. And um, I do wonder if that can hurt its chances. No, nothing against Peter Farley, Farley's direction. Um, but it's not like, oh, wow, notice my direction. It's very much a film that is all about the acting and performances. And there's nothing wrong with that kind of film. Um, it is interesting to see... Uh, it might offer some people a bit of a different view on racial issues because here we have uh, Mahershala Lee's character is someone who is very wealthy, uh, far wealthier than uh, Viggo Mortensen's character. And and Mortensen says he eats cheap food and he listens to all the black entertainment. Uh, and, and meanwhile, Ali is attending these parties. So Mortensen's character says at one point that he is more black than Ali's character. And I feel that there's... Something like that can strike a bit of conversation. Um, in, like, what does it really mean to belong to a certain community? Um, because when you have someone like Ali's character who cannot... Who is not very much in tune with the rest of the black community to a large part, uh, and then you compare that uh, with how he attends so many white gatherings but is not treated the same and there is clear racial tension. I don't know. I think there's a lot of debate to be had uh, over certain elements of this movie, but there are definitely other movies that handle racial tensions better and open up new questions. Uh, I would even argue, if you want a really good movie about racial tension, watch Zootopia. Um, but in terms of the performances, Viggo Mortensen and Mahershala Ali are both very good. They have very believable chemistry. Um, I think uh, Ali is probably the MVP of the film. Uh, Mortensen is also very good, but I don't know how far out of his comfort zone this character really is. Ali is just, it's a very different character than what we saw in Moonlight or even in Hidden Figures. We see that this actor has a very wide range. I don't know if he's going to win a second Oscar, especially when he just won his first two years ago. But I think uh, one thing I will say about Mahershala Ali is that him going supporting is BS because the film is very much about the two of them. Uh, it's it's like really blatant category fraud, but that's never stopped the Academy in the past. Um, what else to say about this film? I like the dialogue. I think the dialogue is very well written. Um, but... I, I think this is a definitely a contender to win screenplay, or at least to be nominated in screenplay. Uh, I don't really have that much else to say. It's a film that is uh, very feel-good, and it's going to contend for comedy at the Globes. 
I'm going to release a video on the Globes later today, the, probably this evening. Uh, so look out for that. But yeah, I think this is what you call a crowd pleaser type movie, which is interesting because it, it hasn't really made that much money. I'm, maybe that'll change some more awards nominations come out. But this won NBR recently, and I think it's definitely in the contention for the Best Picture win. But uh, I need I still need to see Roma and, B and Beale Street. Uh, but keep an eye on this film, because it might just be that little engine that could. It, it, it's very hidden figures if you want a good film to compare it to, uh, tone-wise. Uh, it's got a little bit of comedy, but also a little bit of drama. It's like right on the edge, so... Yeah, I think this is an enjoyable film, and it, it deals with racial tensions well enough. Uh, it feels very antiquated, and it doesn't push cinematic techniques forward very well in terms of the direction. But I... Yeah, I recommend it. Uh, it's Especially if you're into the Oscars at all, because this film definitely will be a contender in multiple categories. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you later.